Hi guys and welcome back to another tutorial brought to you by Reillusion and hosted by iClone 3D. I'm Trista Ross and in today's tutorial we're going to be looking at how to use the reach target function to avoid the poking issues when characters are interacting with props or different objects or elements in the scene and it's a really really simple thing to do. Now the method that we're going to use is the reach target and the edit motion layer. So if we come over to our scene here we're going to animate this character to climb up the wall, but the issue is the hands don't actually connect with the top of the wall precisely. You can see there's quite a lot of sliding and jittering that are apparent in this case. So what we're going to do is we're just going to select our character and we're going to go to the edit reach target feature in the modifier panel. We'll choose the right hand part and then we're going to select the target and keep the current pose feature for deciding the target object to reach. Now we're just going to simply adjust the offset here to the hand for making it properly. We'll do the exact same procedure to the left hand and all I'm doing is using the rotation gizmo just to tweak it and align it with the wall in the correct place. Now you can play that back and preview the results after the first simple step of reach target. Now you can see it looks much better than the first time around. The hands actually are connecting with the top of the wall now. But we can see that when the character releases his hands from the wall, you'll find they're still a little bit constrained by the wall. So we're just going to set the release time for it and we'll find a specific target of the layer in the timeline and we're going to move that target time into set the release key. Now once you've set the release, you can actually see the key range in the timeline will change. But you can see much, much better results upon playing that back. And after we've set the reach target feature, we can create a new animation layer for tweaking the motion specifically. And we're going to use the IK and FK modes in the edit motion layer. And in this specific case, we'll switch between full body and the body part modes for keying the entire body or just the selected part. And this is just going to ensure that we get really smooth results when we play that back. Um, sometimes the reach target will actually constrain the character. So we might need to adapt the body parts to avoid any pulling issues. You can also use the rotate feature to fix it. As you can see here, just tweaking until it looks perfect. Now you can see the comparisons with the before and after when we play that back and you'll see much better results. It looks much more realistic and everything just looks like it's flowing smoothly and it just makes for a much more realistic overall animation, especially, you know, when people are watching and you've got kind of audience, you know, really kind of tuned into these little minute details that really do stand out if they aren't corrected. And, you know, that concludes the tutorial. I really hope it helps and I really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial.